Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I'm a beauty consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup. And today we're talking about Miss Char Girl. So she has come out with her new Hollywood Glow Gliders and I have picked up two shades. So we're gonna be trying out shades Champagne Glow and also Gilded Glow. I will be demoing both of the products on my face and then I will also be sharing with you a couple of comparisons from some other highlighters that I have of hers and also the new Rare Beauty highlighters. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And if you were new, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because we make really good content over here. And now let's get right into this video. I do actually like the packaging of these glow highlighters. And oh, she says, from the queen of glow. Don't I love that? So, like I said, two new highlighters from Charlotte Tilbury. They do retail for $48. She does have them in six shades. And I have shades, they're not literally numbered number two, but I have the second shade and then I also have the a fourth shade. And I'm only just numbering them two and four based on how they are structured on her website from like most light to most deep. So Miss Chargo says, darlings, get your Hollywood glow on with my Hollywood Glow Face Glide Architect highlighters and she says that champagne glow which is the shade that i have right here she says that this is going to be a sparkling champagne powder highlighter inspired by illuminating red carpet lights it says that these highlighters combine the rich pigment pay of a pressed powder with the skin gliding satin texture of a liquid highlighter so we're supposed to have this powder liquid highlighter type of formula and she says that my Hollywood Glow Guide Face Architect Highlighters will illuminate, lift, and sculpt the look of your skin without creasing, caking, or settling into fine lines for a confidence-boosting glow. So for a cheek trick, you can apply it along the cheeks up to the temples. For a jaw trick, you can apply it along the jawline for a most sculpted effect. Don't apply it right here at the chin, but just right along the jawline. For a nose trick, you can definitely go down the contour of your nose to illuminate that as well. She says for a eyebrow trick to lift it, obviously apply it right along under the brow bone area or like literally right here to just add a pop of glow and lift. And then lastly for the lips, she says that you can apply it right here at the top of the cupid's bow to have a fuller looking lip. So essentially, you know, anywhere you know to place highlighter, you can place this highlighter. So starting with Champagne Glow, first I do I do like the embellishing or the embossing of this highlighter and I will say this the packaging seems a little less than what I would like for it to be as I'm putting my finger in here the pan is just turning around and around and around I'm hoping you all can see that that does not make me confident that this is not gonna break if I were to drop it so I, I don't like that about it um, however, it feels very soft and very smooth. I don't feel like we get um, a ton of texture with just rubbing it onto the back of my hand, but I will say this is a very opaque type of highlighter. There is definitely a base to this highlighter and it's definitely one that you don't wanna use a lot of. Like I would really suggest just straight off the back, go in with a fluffier brush because if you go in with a brush that's more dense, you're probably going to apply too much highlighter if you're someone who likes more of those like subtle kind of lit from within highlighters. Um, I'm always here for a product having good pigmentation for it, so I'm not knocking this for being pigmented, just letting you know what I'm observing. And then for Gilded Glow, she says this is a true gold highlighter, so this is what Gilded Glow looks like. And just like her Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, you do have a nice size mirror in this compact. This one also is not as secured as I would like for it to be in the pan, but I just saw and noticed that you can pop out these pans. So I'm assuming that she's gonna re be releasing refills pretty soon with these, um, which is always nice. I do like the aspect of the pan being refillable. So maybe that's why the pan is a little looser in the packaging. Here is the swatch of Gilded Glow. Gilded Glow is a very nice true gold. I kind of went back and forth as to whether or not I wanted to get Gilded Glow or I think it was the Pillow Talk one because I am realizing that I don't like a lot of true gold highlighters. I tend to lean more toward the champagne shades, the rose gold shades, 
those types of shades. But I did like how it looked on the model's complexion and I was like, if you're around my complexion and you do like gold or highlights or gold based highlights, then this would serve as a good reference for you because sometimes gold, especially if it's very deep and pigmented, it can be too deep for my complexion. So here we go with the Gilded Gold or the Gilded Glow. I keep saying Gilded Gold and it's Gilded Glow. I will say though, this is a beautiful gold. Like when y'all saw this in the sunlight, I was like, honey, you're real cute. I actually really enjoy this gold because it isn't too deep for my complexion, but it does show very true as gold. And I also really love Miss Champagne Glow over here because these are the highlighters I tend to go for. So like as soon as I put it on, I was like, hello darling, so pretty. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a mess. I would say that Champagne Glow is going to work pretty good for complexions that I would say are light medium to a nice tan. Because looking at it, I feel like it definitely does fall in the Champagne family, but it has a nice golden base to it. So it doesn't look like an icy champagne type of highlighter. It really just looks, it just really looks more like a champagne gold. So I think that if you're someone who's like me and you like those more champagne based highlighters and you've got a nice like tan complexion, I think you could enjoy this highlighter. However, I would say blend it quite nicely because I'm looking at it and I didn't blend the best in this area. And I do feel like it is kind of sitting on top of my skin. So I went in today with the Songa G, the Sculpt 4 brush. Um, it's got, you know, this fan shape and I did apply it like so. Um, but I think the next time I do apply this highlighter, I'm gonna go in with a more fluffy brush and kind of buff the highlighter into the skin because I also feel like this highlighter is emphasizing some of the texture on my skin and I'm hoping that you all can see that. So for me, another, like a more fluffy brush that I would go in with next time probably would be like, mm, oh yes, the Sonya G Buffer Pro. And just really, you know, oh, I hope I don't have nothing on here, okay good. Really just buff that into the skin um, because doing that, it's actually looking really a lot more nice and not just like sitting on top of the skin. So that is my tip and recommendation for um, these highlighters. Definitely go in with a nice blending brush and buff it into the skin so it's not sitting on top of your skin. And especially if you are someone that does have texture, these highlighters will emphasize that texture, which most highlighters do anyway, but some highlighters emphasize them more than not. I feel like this one will emphasize more of your texture if you don't blend it in well. Now, I will say this with the Gilded Glow, and I don't know if it's because of the tone of the highlighter, I don't feel like it's emphasizing texture as much, but I do think it is still kind of sitting on top of my skin. So I'm gonna apply, or I'm gonna suggest that same recommendation of buffing it into the skin because it's not one of those highlighters that, in my opinion, will melt as easily into the skin. And I do think it is because of the formulation of it having this powder um, combination with liquid glow type of highlighter formula. This is definitely, you know, if I could say like a true traditional powder highlighter, it's good and powdered and pigmented, you're gonna have to buff it into the skin. And so I don't, for me, take anything away from this highlighter with those components. It's just kind of like an FYI so you know how to use it and know how to enjoy it. Now let's get into some comparisons between these two. So first let's start off with the Hollywood Superstar Highlighter. I This one came out a couple years ago and I, I mean, when I say I have barely, barely used it, barely use it. First off, I'm going to say that I really am glad that she came out with a smaller size with these because we don't need this much highlighter. And I mean, I would never use this much highlighter even if I tried. Um, as you can see, this one has more of like a rose gold type of tone to it. And rubbing it into the highlighter, it feels about the same. So this is the shade from the Silver Compact, the Superstar highlighter. And like I said, it does have more of like a pinky hue to it compared to these two. Um, but formula wise, it looks about the same to me. We blend it in a little bit more and then I'll have you all look. So this is the 
Hollywood Superstar one. What do you guys think in terms of formula? It looks about the same. Maybe just a tad less pigmented. Like as I'm blending it in, it seems to be blending a little more sheer than the other two. So like I said, just might have just a little less pigmentation than the other two highlighters. But in terms of smoothness, it feels about the same texture wise. Then we're going to get into, if you have it, honey, because I'm so mad that Shar Girl dis discontinued this. This is her Bar of Gold highlighter, and she's got a champagne shade, rose gold shade, and then a gold shade. I'm just gonna swatch all three and do comparisons that way, because if you do have it and you're trying to decide are any of the shades in this highlighter palette similar to the new ones that she released, that could be helpful to you. Um, in terms of texture, just, from swatching them, they're, this is definitely a different texture. So we've got the champagne shade, rose gold shade, and then the true gold shade. So hopefully you all can see that. Let me give you a little bit more of that true gold shade. Okay, so true gold shade, kind of rose gold shade, and then the champagne shade from the Bar of Gold highlighters here. And then this is this Hollywood Superstar and then the two new Hollywood highlighters here, Champagne and the Gold Shade. So the formula for these and the Bar of Gold highlighters, the Bar of Gold highlight palette is going to be different than these up here. It's gonna definitely be more metallic-like. It's not as smooth in its formula. Um, when I say smooth, it doesn't mean that it's got chunkiness in it, but it definitely has more of like that metallic-y base to it. And it's definitely not as opaque as these highlighters are. Okay, so I also wanted to compare the lighter shades from her Pillow Talk palettes because initially I thought we might have been onto something in terms of there being maybe similarity in tone, but I don't think we have any. This is the highlighter from the lighter Pillow Talk palette. So right there. And then this is the champagne shade from the new highlighters. And then I'll just put it right here. Here is the lighter shade from the deeper palette. Hopefully you can see that. The champagne shade from the lighter palette and then the new Charlotte Tilbury champagne shade. So definitely no comparison at all. And I know this, this particular um, highlight shade is not necessarily champagne, it's just a lighter one. Um, so definitely no comparison there at all because the two highlighters from the Pillow Talk palettes, they're looking, they both have more, the texture is definitely more like gelée like than it is powder creamy like. And to me, the new highlighters have more of that powder creamy like type of texture. Um, also, they do feel a little more texturized as well, the ones from the Pillow Talk palette. And then now I wanna compare them to the two Rare Beauty highlighters that I have. So this is a shade called Exhilarate. Exhilarate is going to be more champagne light. And then I have the shade called Flaunt. Flaunt looks a little more gold. So these Rare Beauty highlighters though, honey, smooth as a baby's bottom, okay? Smooth as a baby's bottom. Here's the shade Exhilarate from Rare Beauty, okay, right here. And this is more of like the champagne shade. This is the champagne shade from the new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. So I hate that they're so far away, but texture is definitely different. The Rare Beauty one is more smooth and it blends very effortlessly into the skin as well. Um, definitely less opaque than the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. And I feel like the Rare Beauty ones do not emphasize texture at all. They literally just give you that lip from within glow compared to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Not saying that like we just saw, we can blend and buff in that Charlotte Tilbury highlighter so it's not as intense, but you don't even have to buff in the Rare Beauty ones. You just apply them and they're just almost like automatically blended. They are phenomenal, okay? Phenomenal. Now I'm going to apply the more gold one from Rare Beauty in the shade called Flaunt. Even like when you're touching them, like, oh, like so, so smooth. So here is the Rare Beauty highlighter in Flaunt right here. So like I said, it's the more gold one. 
Um, and then here is the Golder Champagne from Charlotte Tilbury, the new one. So comparing the two right here, in terms of like tone, I would say that the shade Flaunt has more of like a slight pinky hue to it. So it's more like a rose gold highlighter compared to the True Gold of Charlotte Tilbury. This one, like I said, is leaning a little bit more of like a rose gold um, than the True Gold. So if you're looking for a highlighter that really isn't gonna emphasize texture, but that's still gonna be very effective, very much like bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, the Rare Beauty highlighters are giving you that. Like they are, they are a force to be reckoned with. The Charlotte Tilbury highlighters, um, like I said, are going to need to be blended into the skin, but I feel like an easy way to do it is just with the brush that you use and the tool that you use. Now, because these highlighters, she is marketing them to be architectural and sculpting, that is what leads me to believe that they are going to be more, more with the opaque base because i even thought for a moment to get of getting like the deepest shade and seeing how that looked like sculpting out the cheeks maybe like using it i don't know to contour the nose um but then i was just like chels no because if you don't like it now you've got a highlighter that is too deep for you and i'm i'm trying trying not to waste product trying not to get products that i i kind of know i'm not going to be using in that way so um I think with how she's marketing them, she's trying to put a, a nice spin on what a regular highlighter is. For any highlighter that you have, you can use it to sculpt with, to highlight, lift, and do all the things that she's saying that these highlighters do. I think, you know, if I could say the high points of these highlighters is that they do have really nice shades. And I do think that if you're someone who feels like highlighter really doesn't show on your complexion because maybe it is too sheer, these do have an opaque base. And so with that opaque base, it's really gonna show on the skin. And like I mentioned, a little bit goes a very long way with these highlighters. And so you don't need a lot if you just want kind of a subtle glow, but these highlighters can go there if you want a very high shine, very like type of highlight. And I think we all saw that when I was standing in the sunlight. I was like, oh yes, I am so here for it. I do think these highlighters are beautiful and I'm very glad that I tried them. If I had to choose a favorite between these Hollywood uh, Glow Glider highlights and the Rare Beauty ones, maybe we'll save that for another video. But let me know your thoughts down below about these new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow highlighters. Also let me know, do we want to see a little standoff, show off comparison between Rare Beauty and Hollywood on the face, because I know I didn't do them on the face, but is that something we wanna see? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.